Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia is in the nice warm car. Popeye is home, very warm and cozy as well. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today, we're gonna fly the Hubson Zeno for you again because you want to see it. We've heard you loud and clear. There are just tons and tons and tons of comments, people wanting to see more and more on the Zeno. So I've been thinking, what can I do to show you something different? Here's what we're gonna do. You've seen our unboxing, very, very, very laid back. You've seen us put the 4K camera to the test in some crazy strong winds, which I hated editing because my computer's not very powerful. You've also seen the iPhone, Abby's iPhone 6S Plus, uh, with the app running, but what you haven't seen is the Android version of the app running, and that is because it's still not running very well. I can't fly it with the Android version of the app. There are reported uh, some phones and versions of Android do work, though not very well. So what we're gonna do a little different today is fly using a cell phone with no SIM card installed. Let's show you, just so you totally believe me. Can you get a shot at that there, Abby? Says no SIM. Yep. This is an iPhone 6 with no SIM card, okay? So the reason we're doing that is because a lot of people are gonna to want to know what limitations do we have, if any, can it fly with a phone or mobile device or tablet of some kind without cell phone service? So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to fly this for you with a cell phone with no cell phone service. Let's put it in the air. Good, ready for takeoff. Yeah. Okay. Just letting it hover, do its own thing. I'm gonna gain just a little bit of altitude and go a little farther away from us. You guys have seen the close shots of this flying before. You've seen the uh, three axis gimbal at work and the 4K camera. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do video here for you guys as well on the card. So didn't you say you were gonna film at 4K but then just produce it at 1080? Yeah. So it's was, not gonna be like true 4K that you're seeing. That was the first thing I was gonna address. Yeah. It's really hard for me to edit 4K on my computer. Yeah, Almost, computers are just not strong enough. Right, and at the believe it or not, at the subscriber base we have and stuff, we just uh, can't keep up with it right now. Hopefully in the near future we'll We're be able to. Patron support will go up and we'll be able to upgrade. Yes, I'm going to put some gloves on here. But yeah, what you're seeing, if you could hold that, Abby, nope. what you're seeing from the drone, uh, the actual memory card recording, I have, whoops, you're flying it for I know, me. I was oh, okay. giving them some pan shots. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Uh, I thought Instead it was. I just scared you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will have put this in my computer at the 4K and then produced it at 1080p so that I can actually edit this video and it be reasonable on my PC. So this video, but I have one that is 4K if you really want to check it out. Yep, it'll be linked in the description box. Yes. So the gloves are, are on. almost on. <laughs> It's so cold out, <laughs> but that's kind of a cool thing. 28 degrees. Yesterday it was snowing. Today it's just very cold. It's kind of cool to know that we can fly it. It's like 25 degrees or something Fahrenheit. So we've never flown a drone without data, but it doesn't use your data, so you should be able to fly it. Right. My question is, does the GPS map function waypoints, does that work when you don't have data in or out with no service? So let's fly back a bit and let's look at the app and see what things we have because we do we're limited right now the drone and the video signal and all that the stuff that i would want to know is functioning the telemetry is there but if we hit the top left where it says legal and there's supposed to be a map here see now there's, it's just a grid no there's no map we have no map so that's the limitation when there you fly go. but that's only because we're testing this that's only because there's no SIM card, no data, no ability to know where we're at, I'm right, guessing. Right. So if you have a regular cell phone, like our last video where he did it on my iPhone, then it'll work no problem. Right. It actually worked really well and it was a lot it of fun. It worked amazingly well. Remember, this is, we have to emphasize, because some people, if this is your first time looking at a Xeno video, I don't want you to think that the map doesn't work. It does. It does. This phone, if you missed my intro, 
That's me panning over there like that. This phone has no SIM card installed at all. And we wanted to see if people could use their tablet with no cell service on it. Yeah, a phone just like this. They used to have, you know, the old, uh, I, what, what would they call the uh, I, I, iTunes, iPod Touch or whatever? Yeah. They, yeah, they don't yeah, do yeah. that anymore, do they? <laughs> I remember when we were dating, I bought you an iPod Touch just so we could FaceTime. Well, I hear a semi coming. Let's let's record the semi. So let's see if the I still have truck. decent range. Anytime you hear really loud, -da 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 -da, that's my sound. For when it hits <laughs> the bumps over there, it's this guy. They they come and go like 50 times every hour. <laughs> There. I'm I'm way off to the left there. You yeah, I know. cannot. You probably with your camera can't see me, no, but I can't. I can see you there. I'm still over the airfield. I know right where I am. I nice can little see you shot. Mine, but not my camera. And now let's mosey on. Let's go to sport mode and see if we can keep up with them at all. Sport mode. So yeah, we've never it. flown a drone without a phone. Here we go. Flying by. Service. So Pretty quick. Kind of neat. Now, some questions people have had. One uh, is the option to change the camera from 4K to 1080p, 720, or whatever resolution you want. Right now, you cannot do that, to my knowledge. There are no options, but they, they say, Hubson has said that you'll be able to do that after they release an update. Remember, the, I think what they did here, I think what Hubson did was try to rush this drone out to get their holiday sales, their Christmas sales, rightfully so. If, if the drone, the hardware of the drone itself isn't going to change, they've made these things. They just got to perfect their app now to get everything working right in the Android. Now, iPhone it works great. Yeah. Android, nothing at all. Zilch, nada. Not a thing is working on the Android thing. At least for us. And a couple Android phones we've tried, and I think there's a lot of reviewers that are stuck on that too. I want to point out how there's no wind and yeah, how rock no solid it is right now. Yeah. There's no toilet bowling, no drifting. For me, this is this is a raw experience. We don't come out here and fly this 20 times and show you the best uh, flight out of 20 flights. This is it. You guys have seen all our flights. All of our flights. And if this started failing and sucking, I would show you and I would tell you don't buy it. Yep. But right now it's a pretty good drone for the price. Rock solid. It's like maybe one mile an hour light breeze, but there's no wind really. So there were a couple things that Nathan and I have been talking about with this drone that we were kind of wanting to address in this video. Yes. And I think the first thing that we wanted to address was this is a camera drone. It's a, it has it's a, a three <laughs> axis gimbal, yes. a really nice camera, and it can get steady, rock solid, smooth footage. Especially for the price. Impressive. For the price. Very especially. impressive for the price. This is not a drone for somebody that wants to go fast and do flips. Right. And fly it really agile, fly it really low to the ground. I'm I'm going to fly this drone as a drone pilot would 99% of the time tend to fly it. Look, can I fly this drone two feet off the ground in sport mode at 60 miles an hour? Not 60, you know, however fast it'll go. Yeah, I can, I can zip this around. Look at me go, look at me go. But why would I ever fly the drone like it's that? It's not meant to fly like okay. that anyways. Right. You're not going to just push it like that. I am going to fly up and get my drone shots. Yep, that's what so this is for. I tend to try and fly drones the way they're meant to be flown yep. for the average consumer. Like you will never see us fly a race drone like this. Right. And you will never see us fly this like a race exactly. drone. Exactly. <laughs> so that's an important thing to point out. I don't know why that would ever come into question, but it has. Yep. Also, people ask us about range tests. Yep. And I want to address that now with this drone. You know what? Let's go do some. Let's go fly out. Okay. So, hi. I'm Nate. What's that one? What's That's 40% battery. Oh, okay. It's cold out, so we're going to get a shorter flight time we for are. sure. Wow. About seven minutes right now. Jeez. Much it is shorter. Very cold. Super cold. Uh, and that's with all drones, keep that in mind. Yeah. This is, uh, we had about an 18 minute flight in uh, slightly warmer weather, about 20 degrees warmer or so. But anyway, yeah, I'm flying farther away. I will go to the point where I can just barely see the drone, but I'm not going to break line of sight. I prefer to fly on my YouTube channel especially, <laughs> and in general, <laughs> by the designated AMA rules and regulations. I am an AMA member and I condone safe, positive flying. 
I am not going to be a stick in the mud and say it wouldn't be cool to fly a hundred miles away, drop off a Tootsie Roll piece of candy at my dad's backyard, and then fly the drone back to me a hundred miles away. That'd be the coolest thing in the world, but it's not safe. And I'm not going to tell you on my YouTube channel to go do that. And we're definitely not going to do it, film it, and put it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Why would a person do that? You're just asking um, to have, get yourself see, in trouble. We have a child now, so we want to be able to go home to our child every day and not go to jail. For... It is it is very highly frowned upon. <laughs> and let's face the facts here, guys. There have been people that have been caught red-handed because they have... put their own evidence on YouTube. That's like that's like saying She's Casey Neistat, prime example flying in a location where he shouldn't have been flying and he got in trouble. He got in trouble. There have been others too. Yeah. There have been others in but the just, RC community. He's the most popular YouTuber that I can think of that yeah. has actually gotten in trouble for, right. for drone use. And, so. and, and right now it's basically a slap on the wrist, but I don't, here's the other thing too. The responsibility factor, I have, I have a responsibility by having a YouTube channel to promote safe flying. I am never, ever, ever going to put myself in a situation where I am promoting a person to do anything that is dangerous in the hobby or promotes the hobby in a negative way. One of the reasons we make sure we have good family values on our channel, like we make sure we never say cuss words, is because kids watch our channel and kids are very influential, so we're not going to do something on our channel that we're not okay with a five-year-old kid doing. Right. So, yes. Or saying. Yep. And whatever. if you don't like that, you can just go away to another channel because that's that those are our values and we're going to live by and fly by those values. Uh -huh. So there have been just, you know, the sailors are one of the first people out there with a Zeno. There's some controversy. There's uh people want us to test it a little differently, but we thought this would be a good opportunity to test the Xeno again in a new kind of situation with no SIM card, but also to let you guys know to address some of the uh, questions that have been out there. Let's talk a little bit more about the Xeno itself though. So some people wondered, uh, why is there no collision detection on this drone? All right, there is no collision detection on it. The Mavic, the Spark, they have collision detection. Even some cheap $25 drone we did on the channel recently has collision detection. For some reason, that was Hubson's choice not to include that. Maybe they'll include it on the Hubson Zeno 2. I don't know. But as it stands, I'm impressed with the drone as the wind picks up here. I like it. I, I personally have never used the collision detection on the DJI Spark or my Mavic. I've never used it unless I'm just showing off to a friend, hey, look what I can do. But in a real world sense, I've never flown my drone close enough to an object or a person that I need the object avoidance or collision detection to stop the drone. If I'm flying that close to something that far away, then I'm probably shouldn't be flying the drone at all, in my opinion. Would it be cool to have the collision detection on the Xeno? Yes, it would be, but the price would probably go up. Also, one other thing, there's no visual positioning hold system on here. There's no camera pointing down to help the GPS fly stable, but look at this. The wind is picking up, okay? I'm right by that flag there. Maybe four or five mile an hour wind. We've flown in about 10 or 15 mile an hour That's winds. That's a really windy flag though. That doesn't count. That's a light flag. But the point is there's some wind and it doesn't move around. In my experience, would I have liked to have the visual positioning hold on there? Absolutely, yes. It would have been nice for them to put it on. And they're pretty cheap on the technology side of things. Very cheap to have visual position hold. But uh, I got to restart my camera. Okay. And we're back. For whatever reason, they chose not to put that on there. But um, just just to answer your questions, and I'll be the first person to say this, this is not a perfect drone by any means or definitions. This is not the drone of all drones. Uh, I have yet to fly the perfect drone. But I think what this is getting at is a more affordable, consumer level, good quality camera. Yeah, it's about time. We've seen. 20 different drones hit the market that fall in this price point that yeah. just really suck and are yeah. unusable. This one is actually usable. It's not going to fly five miles away and beat the Mavic. The Mavic costs double what this costs. But you know what? It, it does offer something new to the drone world that we haven't seen before. 
Now, there are a few other options out there that are relatively close to this. We've seen like the Para Anafi, people uh, suggest that. That is a little bit more expensive than this one by a couple hundred bucks. So it should outperform it. You know, there, there are still some other choices. There are some things that we haven't had on the channel too. But what we have had on the channel, what we've compared to overall so far, this has been a really good experience. And I'm pretty happy to know that this flies with no SIM card in the phone. Pretty cool. Yeah, just the map functions, the GPS uh, Right, like map. waypoints and stuff. But here's a question. Follow yeah. me and stuff. I should test that. Well, no, I was thinking does return homework. Uh, oh, yeah, it should. Because that's like GPS-ish. Well, the right? GPS function still works, but the map, map coordinates do not. Okay, okay. Yeah, so let's, let's just go ahead. We can just hit return to home because we're getting pretty low on battery. Yeah. We're 13 minute flight time. It is super it's cold. Really my cold. Fingers, I have gloves on and my fingers are return to home. Hurting. And people wanted to see how accurate it is on return to home too, so let's let's show them. We took yeah. off right from this sidewalk here, so that should be a pretty accurate. You know, I mean, we're, I've only got a couple feet there of room for error, so if it lands in the grass, you'll know it can land a couple feet away. And it probably will. I'm guessing. I think it's gonna be off just a hair, right on the edge of the sidewalk. I'm not touching anything. I didn't touch anything. It shifted there at the end. The wind picked up and I think that's why. So I didn't touch the sticks it, at all. It was like about right there. So this is about five feet off. Yeah, it was somewhere about right there. And yeah, four or five feet. I was at a 14 minute flight time with like 23% battery left when that landed. I, I'm really cold. I don't want to fly the rest of this on, on a decent condition day. It wasn't warm out, but it was like just 40s or 50s. 40s or 50s. Yeah. We got about an 18 minute flight time and that was really windy. This is really cold. We're like, I don't know, about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or so. 27. Is it 27 yeah. degrees? Okay. And uh, we got a significantly shorter flight time by about four minutes. I, I could have flown longer and maybe close that gap but but it's nice to see that it's functioning in the cold wasn't there a product on the market a couple years ago that it couldn't function when yeah it first there came have been out? quite a few and maybe even yeah, colder this wouldn't cold. be able to work at all but yeah. i'm pretty happy with the performance there guys it's a good drone it's not like some amazing drone that we should be praising or something i i maybe i came across too too excited in previous videos. We're just excited at the price point. Yeah, I, I and love the, the hobby. quality and the fact that it has a working 3X gimbal. I love the <laughs> hobby and I love competition in the hobby. DJI has been on top for a long time and I like seeing someone coming in snipping at their tail because it's good for the consumer, it's good for us. I'm not saying this is hands down better than the Spark. Personally, in my opinion, we, Abby and I were talking about this. She said, Nathan, which drone would you rather fly? If you had to pick one, would you rather have the Spark than the Xeno? And I outright said, Abby, I'd rather have the Spark today because the Spark is its full release potential. Yeah, it's the Xeno, ready. I can't even use my Android phone that I love, my Samsung Note 4. I cannot use that phone on this drone today. Now, when, when the app is in its full release state and the updates are out and everything, I'd probably strongly say the Xeno over the Spark. Would you rather fly the Xeno or the Mavic? Well, that's not a fair comparison because that's a drone that costs twice what this costs. And I think that people still, other, other YouTubers, consumers, everybody out there, there's some people that are going to come in with an open mind, but there are some people that are going to compare this to the capabilities of something like the Mavic. And it's not going to compare to the Mavic at all. It's close, okay? It really is, but it's not fair to compare it to something like the Mavic. So just know that um, I'm still very excited about the Xeno. I think its capabilities are awesome. I love competition coming to the market. This is not a drone. Guys, we've had so many drones featured on the channel that are like, $600 drones that are just total junk. This is... That's not junk. This is not junk, okay? It's, it's a good drone. Yeah. It's a good drone. They could have done more. They could have done better. But it would have cost more. But it would have cost more. And, and this this is, so far, this is my favorite Hubson drone I've had in my hands. You know, I mean, it's a good drone. There, okay. are, there are, there's room for improvement. But I can't feel my face. Yes, I think we're ready to go get warm again. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Just another follow-up on the Xeno. We still like it. We're still waiting on the Android update. When the Android update hits, we'll do our best to get out as soon as we can, uh, pending good weather, and give you guys a good, honest show of the Android app up and running. Hopefully you guys start getting your Xenos. I know a lot of you have pre-ordered them, and you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. 
Uh, so I'm doing my best to just bring you content to let you know, it's still flying, does okay, I'm happy with it. Let us know in the comment section below what other things you'd like to see us do within reason with our Hubson Xeno. And we'll be happy to do that in a future video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!